You know, John Speckled Trout, yeah. number one target on the inshore coastal fishermen's <laughs> radar. <laughs> You but so believe. many ways to cook it. People are looking for different ways, though. Uh, no, no, absolutely. And you know, even uh, even when I think about cooking fish, I never say, "Well, I'm going to cook this fish that way or this fish that way." Uh, although fish do present themselves in ways that they should go on the grill, they should mm -hmm. go just in a, in a sauté pan, they should go into a deep fryer, and that's what people expect. What I like to do is give them the unexpected. Right, and thinking the, out the box. Yeah, thinking out <laughs> of the box. We were talking about uh, yellowfin tuna mm -hmm. just a, a little while ago and uh, going out there and getting that beautiful tuna and coming back in. But every species presents itself to the chef or the home cook in a way that they just want to experiment and do some fabulous food. So what I'm doing with speckled trout, as we know, I think the least you do with it, the less you do with it, the better it's going to be. A lot of natural flavor. You just want that natural flavor. We we're also talking about it's a good fish for freezing as well, because mm -hmm. you can certainly, it's one of those fish that'll adapt well to freezing, and you can come back in uh, and use it when you have a big catch. So what I'm going to do here is just put a little oil in the skillet. Again, not too much. I just want, I don't want to, I'm not deep frying here. I just want to coat the bottom of my skillet. Now, on the speckled trout, we just have some small pieces here, which is perfect for a single plate. And again, uh, they don't come pre-seasoned, so you want to kind of uh, just a little bit of your, your favorite. And of course, I'm always, as a chef, I'm putting the three things that I love most on my fish, and that's just a little salt, a little pepper, a little granulated garlic, just to kind of give it that wonderful flavor. And of course, the, uh, um, uh, the flour is done the same way. I just want to kind of give it that nice little pat. And on the flour, I'm not dipping this in milk or water. Mm -hmm. I just want the natural moisture of the fish to pick up that little coating. And I want to shake off all of that excess because I just want that little... Oh, lightly battered. Lightly battered, but, mm -hmm. but the lightness of that batter also gives the fish a nice crunch on the outside. It's mm. almost like cooking, people say, why do you cook fish skin on? Well, you cook it skin on because you want that crackling on the outside. The flour does the same thing in, uh, in fish like this beautiful speckled trout. So again, shaking off all the excess. It's seasoned, the flour's seasoned, and I'm going just down into a little bit of uh, vegetable oil right there. And I'm not gonna move the fish, I'm not gonna play around with it. I just want the fish to sit there and do its thing because that's where the Christmas is going to come from. Mm -hmm. That flower is just going to go ahead and give it that beauty. And I would recommend this kind of a technique in cooking to, to most of your fish. I mean, uh, most of your, at least your thin-bodied fish like this, is the perfect way uh, to, uh, uh, to, to, to cook them. Now, I'm going to just kind of see what we look like on the other side. It looks good look to me. It. And you see, that, good. see those little dark spots mm -hmm. there? That's coming about from the fact that and you see it's, all, it's almost stiff and crispy, right? Uh, the inside of this fish is so moist and juicy, you just know when you break it, it's gonna kind of drip. Oh, you making people <laughs> Kind of drip that natural, <laughs> my God, the flavor of the inside of that fish, but it's the outside that's gonna make this fish spectacular, right? And again, you can put, by the way, use herbs. I mean, a lot mm -hmm. of guys like your, your onion, celery, bell pepper, and all of those kind of things, well, go ahead and use them. That's not a big deal. Now, once this is, cooked, what I like to do is to take it, I want the drippings of the pan to be my sauce as well. So this is called Trout Rex. Look, Mardi Gras is all year long for us. Uh, right? I agree come, with that. And this is one of my top uh, uh, fish dishes in the restaurant. Well, we're going to let that go just a little bit longer, and then we're going to come back and That's we're right. going to really dress it up. We're just going to let it go, and when we come back, we're going to go ahead and throw the rest of our uh, flavors in here, okay? The best is yet to come. Stay <laughs> with us on Bayou Wild TV. with Chef John Foltz at White Oak Plantation where we're doing trout wrecks where it's Mardi Gras every day, right? <laughs> it, it is, and we have our fish nice and crispy, and I'll point that out again. Mm -hmm. It's almost stiff but so juicy on the inside. Now, I call it uh, trout wrecks because it's patterned after one of the Mardi Gras kings, obviously. I use the same drippings in the pot that I cook the fish in, and I'm putting a little green onion, onion garlic, right down in there like that. And then I'm going to put about a half of the, you see the colors I'm using? So I have a little gold, a little mm -hmm. green. You with me? I'm with and, you. And of course, this is uh, this is uh, just a uh, squash. So I'm just kind of throw that around a little bit. Now I'm going to go in with uh, 
A little tiny. What do you think of that crab? I don't know. I don't know if I want to give you this. I'm not sure. I might have other plans for this. Why don't you just go ahead and because because these vegetables these vegetables are pretty much cooking. Now I need a little bit of this chicken stock. Just pour about a little bit in there. That's plenty. And then give me my herbs. I have a little basil, a little thyme. You can just sprinkle some of them in there, not too much. And I don't want to overcook the crab meat. I just want to wilt the green and uh, gold squash. Now I need my purple. That's purple cabbage. Mm -hmm. And I'll just take, a, again, a little bit of this to give me the colors of carnival on my fish. Now this is a, this is a great, this is a great dish when company comes because you can still talk about Mardi Gras even right, though Mardi right. Gras is gone. The foods of carnival, the colors of carnival, what do they mean? And now a little butter. You see that butter? I'm going to finish it with a couple little pats. Just kind of throw a couple little pats down in there. And I'm going to, a little touch of salt, a little touch of pepper. Now, if you give me that nice uh, platter right there, I'm going to just kind of melt this butter down a little bit. Kind of get that butter melting down. That butter's going to just give it that sweet cream flavor. And I'm going to take it like that and just kind of. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to go on to my plate like that with some of that. There you go. That's the bed for my little, that's, this is the float. This is the float. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then you can put it down right up there and I'm going to, let's go in with the fish. I'm going to put yeah. the fish right on top of it like this. And now this is a double portion, so it would go up to the table. Well, I say a double portion, not for you or I. <laughs> uh, and then, of course, we can come back and sprinkle just a little bit more of the basil and thyme on top of it. Just treating a simple fish, uh, say a simple fish, one of our best fish. You can even put a little hollandaise sauce on. You can even get hollandaise in the store nowadays. Now, doesn't that look like carnival? Mm, I'm Fit for a king? You huh? know what I got to say about that? They uh, say, hell, Rex. I say, hell, yes. <laughs> Trout Rex, you can make it at home and be a hero. With Chef John Foltz, I'm Don Dubuque on Bayou Wild TV. Easy to do.